Hey guys, we are going to talk today about how to turn a repeating decimal into a fraction. This might seem impossible if you try and do it what we might call the normal way. I'll link that way in the corner if you need a refresher, but this might seem impossible to do that way. So we're gonna talk about a different way to do this. If you're not familiar, when you have this line above those twos, that means that this decimal literally repeats that two forever. Point two, 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 two forever. Obviously we can't write that, so we do that little line above. So how on earth am I supposed to turn this into a fraction? Well, I'm gonna show you the steps, and it might seem at first like, okay, why are you doing that? I get why you can, but why? Stick with me, cause I will show you why we did that. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to set our repeating decimal equal to a variable. So I'm just going to say x equals 0 0.22 repeating. That is totally legal, right? I can just say in this scenario, x is equal to that. From here, what I'm going to do, I am going to multiply both sides of this equation by 10. So I'm going to multiply this side by 10 and this side by 10. And let's see what happens. So on this side, I end up with 10x equals, when I multiply by 10, that's just going to move my decimal over one place. So I will end up with 2.22 repeating. So far, everything is totally okay in math land, right? I can multiply this both sides by the same thing. My equation is still balanced. So the next thing I am going to do is I am going to subtract X from both sides, but it's going to look a little different on each side. Remember right here what we said? We said in this scenario, X is equal to 0 0.22 repeating, correct? So on this side, I'm going to subtract X. On this side, I'm going to subtract 0 0.22 repeating. Because remember, in this scenario, they're the same thing. It would kind of be like saying, I'm going to subtract a foot from this side and 12 inches from this side. It's the same thing, just a different way of saying it so that the units line up. So when I do that, let's see what magic happens. On this side, I have 10x minus x, which would leave me with 9x equals, when I have 2.22 repeating minus 2 repeating, well, those, the 2's repeating go away, and I'm just left with 2 on this side. Oh my heck, that is looking a lot more simple. So what do I do from here? I divide by 9 on both sides, and I end up with x equals 2 ninths. What? Now, you could plug this into your calculator, make sure that you get 0.2 repeating when you plug in 2 ninths. Another way to look at this is to try to divide it. So let's see what that looks like. If I wanted to divide this 2 over 9, that's like saying how many times does 9 go into 2, right? Which we know is going to be a fraction. So in order to kind of make this work, you've probably done this before we make it 2.0, right? And if you need a review on long division with decimals, I'll link a video in the corner for you. But then I ask myself, well, how many times does nine go into 20? It goes twice. And that decimal goes right there. Two times nine would give me 18. And when I subtract, I get two. So since I have a remainder, I'm gonna add a zero, bring that down. And I ask myself, how many times does 9 go into 20? Well, it goes twice. 2 times 9 is 18. I subtract and get 2, and you're probably like, oh, I see what's happening here. I'm going to keep doing that for a long time. I could literally do it forever, right? I'm going to keep getting 2s forever. So that is why 2 ninths is equal to 0 0.2 repeating. Hopefully this made sense. If you need some more examples, like if it's two different numbers repeating like 0 0.23, 23, 23, or if there's a number out front here, I have some other examples I will link for you. Thanks.